first, I would like to express uh, since thanks for wider uh, who invite me uh, to attend uh, this uh, very interesting uh, conference and particularly uh, gave me the opportunity uh, to share with you uh, the Vietnam uh, status on clean energy transition. Oh, sorry, the, the trans transition in uh, our country. Um, actually, this is my third uh, time uh, to be here in wider uh, and um, I am very glad that uh, to, uh, today I can see several uh, friends' face uh, who worked with me for a while in Vietnam, either in Vietnam or in, uh, in, in uh, Denmark or in uh, Finland. Uh, so thank you uh, for inviting me. Um, today uh, I am uh, asked to talk about the clean energy transition in Vietnam. Uh, I will uh, not uh, share any uh, academic thought about uh, the topic, rather I can give you uh, some information uh, and uh, some analysis uh, on the current status and the renewable energy perspectives. Uh, my uh, presentation uh, will uh, uh, consist of the three parts. Uh, the first one, uh, we talk about the, uh, the context of the country toward the clean renewable energy transition. And then um, I can share some uh, uh, thoughts uh, about the drivers, uh, why we should uh, uh, change from the um, non-renewable energy to renewable energy uh, in uh, um, development uh, in Vietnam. And the last but not least, uh, we can talk about the future of clean energy in Vietnam. Uh, all of uh, the talk will, uh, can, uh, will ensure that Vietnam will move toward uh, the, uh, the, the, the trend uh, as uh, just uh, Dr. Lack, uh, mentioned about, uh, to, transi uh, to, to move from the uh, non-renewable energy to more clean or renewable energy uh, path. But uh, we, as uh, the country like Vietnam, we should overcome uh, several challenges. Now, uh, I, uh, in this uh, slide, uh, I would like to share about uh, the uh, the trend uh, in, in the graph, you can see uh, several columns uh, with the color of uh, uh, blue and uh, red. The blue uh, show you the growth of le electricity consumption per capita over the last 15 years, and the red uh, column uh, represents the growth of uh, GDP uh, of Vietnam in uh, PPP per capita uh, also over the last 15 years. And you can see that the high economic growth in Vietnam over the last year, uh, in, in, uh, over the last period, has associated uh, uh, very closely with a high growth of uh, energy consumption. Uh, as I calculated, um, uh, the uh, the elasticity between the uh, electricity uh, growth, consumption growth, and uh, GDP growth uh, measure which measures by the ratio of electric, uh, electricity consumption per capita growth and growth uh, of uh, GDP per, per capita uh, during this period, uh, record at uh, 1.62 um, on average. Um, however, if uh, someone look at the different uh, time period, you can see that the trend of this correlation tend to decrease, meaning uh, between the period of the 2001 and 2005, uh, this uh, correlation uh, uh, record at uh, 1.76 uh, times. While uh, the next period from 2006 and 2010, uh, it was only uh, 169. And uh, the, 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 uh, recently, 2011, 2015, uh, it become only one by uh, 35 times. Uh, this means that uh, uh, why, why we have that kind of declining uh, trend? 
uh, I, uh, we, we, we can see that uh, this can explain by the uh, Vietnam economic structure and change over the last years, which moved from uh, the more polluted can, uh, industry to a less, uh, in, uh, a less uh, polluting, uh, 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 sorry, not pollute, but uh, energy uh, in, uh, intensive uh, industry to uh, the less uh, energy intensive uh, um, industry, particularly with the service sector. Uh, the second reason is because over the last years, uh, the, um, the policy to, uh, to improve the energy efficiency has been applied and which lead to the, uh, the um, gradual uh, improvement of the energy efficiency. Uh, that's why it makes uh, this uh, correlation decrease. This slide, uh, you can see about the energy, um, current uh, energy uh, structure uh, in uh, 2015. Uh, it shows that um, our energy development uh, has been largely depend on the fossil fuel and hydropower. Why I, I, I uh, come by fossil fuel and hydropower together? Uh, which in 2015, its uh, share record at 70.5%. Uh, it's because there are a lot, uh, with the fossil fuel, you agree or uh, you, you may agree with, uh, with me that it um, lead to the uh, CO2 emission, right? But with hydropower, there are a lot of discussion about whether this uh, kind of the, uh, the power is um, clean or not clean. Um, with the case of Vietnam, uh, uh, hydropower development led uh, to uh, serious uh, environmental, uh, environmental impact uh, in the area where the hydropower plant were built. Uh, particularly, uh, particularly, it also make uh, the Im uh, negative impact on the, um, the the livelihood of the people who live uh, surround, uh, who had to, to, to live from the area where the hydropower plant was built. So um, as I mentioned that uh, uh, the, those two kind of the power uh, energy um, uh, account for 70.5%. Uh, uh, meanwhile, non-hydropower, uh, non-hydro renewable energy represent a uh, very limited share, which is only 0.4% in 2015. Um, if we combine, again, hydropower as renewable energy, not clean, but renewable energy, together with other non-hydropower renewable energy, so actually the share of renewable energy in Vietnam uh, is quite high, right? So it be, uh, it uh, become uh, not uh, uh, become uh, about uh, let me see uh, twenty uh, sorry uh, thirty eight percent, which is uh, even compared to other developed uh, developed country, the re renewable energy shares uh, can be competitive. However, uh, as I mentioned, it's not the case to, uh, with the clean energy. So here. Uh, I would like to share with you the, about uh, the uh, the uh, master plan uh, with, with in Vietnam we call uh, the develop, uh, power development uh, plan number seven, which was uh, revised in 2016. Um, that which has uh, which plan to increase the share of renewable energy sharply. That that one is a non hydro power. Um, renewable energy sharply from 0.4% in 2015 uh, to 7% by 2020 and 14% in 2030s. Though so this is quite impressive, right? But still, I would like to, uh, to, to emphasize uh, in this uh, diagram, uh, these two diagram, you can see the share uh, of coal power, coal fire power, is expected to be still very high, even higher than in 2015, which uh, account for 42.7% uh, in uh, 2020, and up uh, and, and and also 42.6% in 2030. 
Hoa Yên Sụt Giật. In fact, um, in Vietnam, uh, we have the kind of master plan which did define a uh, sovereign kind of project uh, uh, regarding the uh, the power uh, generation uh, project. Uh, uh, yeah, pro uh, investment projects. But uh, the sovereign project already ongoing. So that's why uh, fr uh, from now on, uh, and at least until 2050, um, sorry, uh, 2025, uh, those, those plans were cannot be stopped. So that's why uh, the share of the, uh, the coal fire uh, power was still high, as uh, you can see in this uh, diagram. Um, and this I would like to show about the target uh, which uh, the government set for the re re renewable energy development. Uh, one is uh, from the Strategy for Renewable Energy Development paper, which was uh, issued in 2015, and another one with the revised uh, uh, energy development plan uh, number seven, uh, which was issued in uh, 2016. And in, this, uh, in those two graphs, uh, you can see that uh, uh, with the the renewable energy uh, as uh, the left hand side, this one, uh, we can see that uh, in 2050, uh, the sh share of the renewable energy uh, could, uh, could, is was uh, about half and half. That one, I again, I would like to emphasize that about the including the hydropower, right? The right hand side, you can see the impressive um, increase in terms of the, uh, the the installed capacity of the non uh, of the wind, solar, and hydropower uh, capacity, uh, which was projected and and planned uh, from now until to our twenty thirties. So now uh, in Vietnam, regarding the, the renewable energy uh, transition, we still face a dile uh, dilemma. Uh, on one hand, Vietnam uh, vi uh, revised uh, power development plan number seven, uh, still plan uh, 42 gigawatt of new coal, capa uh, coal fire capacity, uh, uh, equivalent to 22 coal fire plants to be built. If all these coal-fired power plants were built, Vietnam would have the, have, could become the fourth largest number of coal-fired power plants in the world. So that's a very, very terrible, right? And energy development based on the fossil fuel, as you can see, would lead the economy to environmental pollution risk and increase of the CO2 emission. On the other hand, as you can see in the graph in the right hand side, um, the Vietnam has high potential for developing different types of renewable uh, non hydropower uh, renewable energy, uh, which currently has not been explored yet. Actually, as uh, Doc uh, just mentioned about, if you tr go back uh, from now uh, uh, ten years ago, uh, ten years ago, you would hardly heard about the kind of the renewable uh, energy like uh, wind, solar, um, uh, waste, uh, uh, and so on. But now in Vietnam, uh, uh, this topic will become more and more popular talk about uh, uh, by the policy policymakers as well as uh, by the society. So now uh, I would like to share about the drivers of clean air or renewable energy transition in Vietnam. Uh, what are the drivers uh, for Vietnam to transmit from uh, the non-renewable energy to uh, renewable energy or clean uh, energy? This is that we have the two kind of the uh, driver. One is the global context. I'm not going to talk, uh, to talk in detail because you can all know about the trend of the reduction of global financing for the coal fire project. The cost of investing in renewable energy dropped by 10% last two, two years. Uh, and technology advancement uh, 
uh, as a doc, just uh, share with you that the technology advancement, uh, we have several uh, so solution which uh, can pro uh, which can provide the solution for renewable uh, energy development. In national context, we uh, in Vietnam we have the policy to promote the, the non hydro uh, renewable energy. Uh, which into, uh, include the strategy for renew, renewable energy development. We have also several incentives introduced to, to renewable energy investment projects. And uh, currently, the, uh, we have the increased public awareness uh, of the environment uh, issue from the coal fire power plant, and create, uh, which uh, the create the pressure for a renewable energy transition. So there are a lot of campaign and even the 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 um, the, uh, the the uh, the campaign and the the discussion by the uh, the society about uh, not to continue to increase the coal-fired uh, plant in Vietnam. More difficult to uh, borrow ODA and international development partner for coal-fired power investment is another driver. And we can see the energy market reform, uh, which is now ongoing, is also uh, push the uh, government and the uh, company to move uh, to the more uh, clean energy development. Um, and one Another, uh, uh, last but not least, uh, the driver was the greater interest of renewable, uh, renewable energy investor and international development community, uh, which have recently expressed strongly in, uh, in, in Vietnam. Um, here, uh, I show you some uh, evidence of, the, of these uh, drivers. Uh, for, for example, renewable energy strategy to 2030 in Vietnam, uh, they give the vision to 2050 um, trend. Uh, also, uh, includes the policy to increase install and production capacity of renewable energy, as I mentioned before. And uh, we um, have introduced the increased share in energies, increase the share in energy sector of renewable energy. And we also provide some policy to promote the technology advancement for renewable energy development sector. Um, and we also have in place the policy mechanism to promote non-hydro renewable energy investment, including the wind, solar, biofuel, uh, biomass, and so on, in terms of the finance, financial preference um, the tech exam or um, feed-in tariff uh, incentive or land, uh, land uh, preferences. And another uh, uh, example about the increased public awareness of environmental risk uh, from coal fire power plant, as I mentioned before, including the, 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 uh, partner devel um, the development partner support to increase awareness of uh, renewable energy development and the campaign by the social community ex and expert. Uh, I would like to emphasize about the surveillance activity organized by the NGOs like the Green IT in Vietnam. They uh, very actively uh, participated in uh, the process of, uh, uh, of uh, delivering the message and, uh, and, and push uh, the government uh, uh, authorities about the, the change uh, about the changing of the the the, the uh, program and the strategy on uh, renewable energy development, and also the voice of development partner on Vietnam coal fire power development plan become more and more strong, um, and and then here I show some of the message uh, given given by the World Bank, uh, the Vietnam Business Forum or WWF and uh, Danish uh, Development uh, Agency about the, the Vietnam, about uh, Vietnam should trans, uh, transform uh, to the more renewable energy. So the future of renewable en uh, energy Vietnam. Now is the time for us to, uh, to move uh, the re renewable energy transition since we have several condition opportunity. I mentioned before about the government law pressure 
uh, by the society and the cost of renewable energy, uh, energy uh, investment uh, uh, versus uh, coal-fired power become more competitive. However, uh, we uh, we get even uh, can see uh, several challenges for our country uh, to uh, in this uh, process, at least for the short term. Uh, with the technical uh, challenges, it includes project development capacity or data information availability, accessibility, uh, dependence on the foreign technology uh, and infrastructure readiness. All this would uh, make uh, the transition uh, more difficult in terms of we have to rely on the foreign investor, we have to rely on the foreign technology and we cannot uh, be more flexible in decide about the, uh, the, the, the project de uh, development. With a non-technical capacity uh, challenge, um, we, we can see the challenges relate to the low e electricity price, large investment required, even the, the price of or the, the cost of the renewable energy uh, development project uh, uh, investment become less uh, expensive, but still uh, it requires a large investment. And need national planning for renewable energy, uh, the, the one I addressed before, uh, in, in, real, uh, in, in place, it means sh it should be enforced because all those uh, programs uh, was recently uh, uh, adopted and more effective policy mechanism. So now, uh, here I, uh, I, I list some uh, the steps uh, Vietnam should move forward. Uh, but I can see this one, uh, similar to other country in the region, actually. Uh, so uh, I'm not, uh, uh, I, I just want to emphasize about one of the, of the, uh, the thing we should uh, think uh, to do is more strong commitment uh, and, uh, and policy will from the energy policy makers. Only uh, this because I can give you uh, the example because in Vietnam we have the two uh, to debate about the whether we still continue to develop uh, the uh, the non-renewable uh, energy uh, mean, meaning about the coal-fired electricity uh, plan or we move to the re uh, the renewable energy uh, with the uh, non-hydro power in uh, renewable energy uh, because uh, they argue that uh, Vietnam uh, compared to other country the level of the CO2 emission uh, still low in, in terms of the per capita level uh, so we don't need to 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 uh, sacrifice uh, our uh, our development with that uh, high uh, high cost investment so uh, the the kind of the debate is still ongoing among the policy makers. So that's all uh, my uh, about my presentation. I would like to share with you, and thank you for your attention.